Hey, I'm Dr. Stephen Bradley, I'm an anesthesiologist and clinical medical ethicist. I'm here to answer your questions about anesthesiology. As an active duty naval officer, I've actually had quite a few questions come from members of the armed forces, uh, enlisted, as well as officers who are interested in becoming physicians. And this first video, and this video will just kind of serve as a reference point or a starting point to answer a lot of the questions that I've already had. So my tips for folks that are in the military and are considering going to medical school, uh, number one is just to get a goal in mind. You need to know what steps you need to take in order to apply and be accepted into medical school. That's the first step. Uh, I encourage each and every one of you to go to the AAMC's website, it's American Association of Medical Colleges, and they have a lot of information there that just deals with how to apply to medical schools, what the entry requirements are, and what you need to do to become a, a, a and what you need to do to be a competitive applicant. So on that website, uh, you will see different information regarding the cycle and the timeline for when you would actually for when you would actually put an application in, what is required for that application, as well as some different fee assistance programs that will help you even pay for that application to medical school. So for all of the enlisted folks, what I'd say to you is to start off with getting your associate's degree. Tuition assistance should be available at most, if not all, commands. Get started on that now. Start earning that associate's degree first. If you already have your associates, then start working on your bachelor's degree. As you're working for your bachelor's degree, look at that uh, website, American Association of Medical Colleges, to see what prerequisites you need. There are certain courses you have to have to apply to medical schools. So we're going to chemistries, biology, chemistry, along with the, the writing courses, the literature courses and the, the basic requirements for a bachelor's degree. You'll need a couple of different types of math classes, whether it's Algebra 2 or Pre-Calculus or Trigonometry. So find out what the prerequisites are. That website will walk you through everything and tell you what you need to do. Next, set up a timeline. So I was a big fan of a five-year plan and a ten-year plan. I've always worked to have both of those. So in your five-year plan, if you're just now starting on a path, it would look something like in the next three years, I plan to earn my associate's degree. In five years, I plan to earn my bachelor's degree and be able to put in an application for medical school. Um, of course, this works around your schedule in the military and any depl deployments that may come up for you. A common topic that comes up is folks will say, I want to be a doctor in the Navy or a doctor in the Army or, or whatever. So I would encourage you to separate those two goals because I'm a big fan of finding the rate limiter step, rate limiting step, what is going to keep you from becoming whatever you want to be. So the application process to get into medical school is a lot more stringent than pretty much any application to join the military. So whether the military is ultimately involved, so whether the military is ultimately involved in your medical education or not, you know, you have to do X, Y, and Z to even apply to medical school. So I would focus on that first and foremost. Once you have an acceptance to medical school, then you can think about going back into the military to pay for it or going to the military medical school. You can re-involve the military in your plans, but, you know, until you have an acceptance to medical school, you're not going to become a Navy doctor. You can be in the Navy, but you won't be a Navy doctor. Whereas you can be a doctor, but not be a Navy doctor, right? So I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I would say to that. Worry about the first things first, get that medical school acceptance. There's a couple programs, um, there's a couple programs that will help with that. The military does have this enlisted to MD program. I think it takes six to 10 applicants a year. It's a two year program. I believe you do have to have a bachelor's degree before that, but in that two years, they'll give you some uh, MCAT preparatory classes and some basic science courses. So the MCAT is a medical college admissions test, a test that you have to pass and do well on to be accepted into medical school. That is one of the big rate limiters for people that are seeking to, to go into medical school. So this EM or enlisted to MD program is a resource. It allows you to stay active duty, 
Um, of course, there is a um, requirement or a time requirement associated with that. Otherwise, once you've been accepted, you can apply to any of the military scholarships if you do need financial assistance, although there's a lot of other options out there as well that will help pay for medical school. In a nutshell, I want you to go to this website, AAMC. I'll drop the uh, link here in this video. Look at what you need to do to become a physician, set your goals, and develop a plan to achieve those goals.